<clears throat> it was 2004. I was traveling through the highway in a bus as I put my headset on. Instead of playing the usual songs that I usually do, I thought maybe I'll listen to something random today. And so I turned on the radio. And the first song I heard, it went like, I'm gonna make a change for once in my life. Almost every music listener of pop music knows that has to be Michael Jackson. Not like I haven't heard the song before that, but it is perhaps during that moment of time, being myself looking at the nature, not having anything particular that bothers my mind, I felt it's every lyric and all parts of the song it gives me goosebumps and I didn't have enough of it. So I digged up all about the man in the mirror and the person behind it. And that was just the very beginning of it all. A song that perhaps inspires a change that turns out to be the change of lifetime. And that is a story of a doctor who is now today saving lives. You thought that was going to be my story of how I became a singer. <laughs> but for now, today, I'm going to tell you about what it takes, or should I say, what it is like to be a singer, to pursue a music career, and what it's like to be in the music industry. And so before I begin, I would just like to address you that I'm assuming you are future professionals of musicians, performers for who knows, 10 years, 20 years to come, or even a lifetime. You could also be a future music producer, you know, MV director, music educators, a creative team doing music videos, or you could even be an equipment trader, you know, buy and sell equipments, reviewing some equipments, instruments. Who knows? You could be a recording artist. Who knows you'll be winning Grammy Awards in the future. So if I were to be addressing the future artist's future superstar, let me start by saying you will have to go through the journey alone by yourself. You might have bandmates and people you meet, musicians, sessionists, directors, you know, musical directors, but you will have to face your musical journey by yourself because each and every one of us, we have our own musical pace. Some might be learning very slowly. Some is a true genius, a very talented brain for music. So the person may develop even faster than the average person. So what I'm saying is, you may be graduating from the same school, the same university, the same course, but each and every one of you will finally come to have a job that is unique by itself. And if you are not very special, not very different, perhaps you might start to worry, am I easily replaced by any other talent? If I'm a singer, why do people want me instead of another singer? That is what you should be asking yourself. Not just being able to sing that song, this song, songs that people want. But what is it that is special about you? So you may be thinking, how am I supposed to prepare myself as a singer? What do people like or what can I really do? What is my innate ability? Maybe you can also think in a sense like venue. If you are in Malaysia, Penang. What are the languages that people usually listen to? Chinese, English, Malay, and which one is your best language or to say take advantage of, or sing something that is in your strength. Or if you're a musician, what kind of genre that best suit you? And then comes the repertoire. What are the songs that you have been learning? Is it classical songs, jazz songs, pop songs, rock songs? What are the songs that you are used to learning that is in the best of your knowledge? And how would you like to shape your repertoire? How would you like to shape your songs in years to come so that all these songs in your library will carry you to things that you will do in the future? For example, do you want to learn up more love songs so that you can perform at more weddings? Or would you want to pick up the electric guitar and train all the solo lines of all the famous rock songs so that you are wanted in bands and you know people know whoa he's a good guitarist he can always play good solos on top of 
the song just exactly like how the song is supposed to sound. You know, are you able to do that? And if you're able to do that, you shape yourself into that specific genre or capability that you are well known of. Then you're able to, you know, carve your own path, road to success. So each and every one of you will turn out to be a very different uh, performer, a very different singer, different musician. And so that is what how it is like in the music industry. We have many, many different roles of uh, performers. You can be a drummer, but drummer can be a rock drummer, can be a jazz drummer, all sorts of um, percussionists even. So get to know yourself first, which then leads me to talk about the four phases that you should be aware of when you are coming into this music industry, taking this music as a career. And so, for the first phase is to understand yourself, who you are. You know, like I've mentioned before just now, it is about what music that you grew up listening to, what your ears are best accustomed with. So the first phase is about understanding your purpose in doing music, to realize why you want to make music. What is your intention in getting yourself into doing music, to perform, to sing? As I believe that many of us singers, we enjoy when we are singing. We feel the vibration in us, being able to express, not the usual way that we express on daily lives, but when we get into a song, we become another person as if a person writing the lyric, we emote in another person's point of view and we vibrate accordingly to how the song is intended to. So if that is your intention and you want people to also feel what you are feeling, that is why you sing, then perhaps you have a good foundation over there to drive you to keep doing what you want to do. Maybe some people would have interest in music while another sort of people would be having the intelligence to make music. Or it could be simply having the talent of uh, playing instrument or singing. So which one is more significant in uh, having a successful career? I would like to hear your comments too. So I believe each and every one of us have our moment in finding what we ought to live for. And some may and may not click with music, but I hope that uh, one day you'll find your purpose to doing music because that is the very first phase of doing music. You got to know why you want to do music. And so here we are. What is the second phase out of the four? Is to find out where you stand in music. I know this could be a you know, harsh phase where you have to face the truth of how good you actually are. So if you're very good among your peers, you could be the leader, you could be the band leader, or you could be a follower if you don't really have much ideas on how to do or how to instruct what to do you know, how to balance everyone around you. If you know that, perhaps you are a leader. If not, you better be a good follower. So same goes to a newbie or a seasoned performer. Which one are you? Perhaps you have already performed in church for a very long time. So I think you're actually a seasoned performer, you know. So what to do? How do we find out where we stand? To be a singer, you can always join competitions, local competitions, you know, national competitions. Just join competitions and then you will meet the people like singers, aspiring singers. Why do they want to sing? Why do they want to join competitions? And then you will put yourself into the singing community or the musician community and also join different musical groups. You know, you can always join a choir group, a rock band, or you can join a acoustic setup at a cafe. You know, just put yourself out there, joining different musical groups and get to know where you actually stand. You might be suddenly jumping very far ahead 
joining a very very good band and then you find yourself unable to follow the pace that they are doing and then you can also join another band whom have just started out doing gigs so perhaps that is your pace or do you have to always drag them to move forward you know join different bands and find where you actually stand among them so finally after joining them how do you actually know where you stand do you just judge by yourself how do you know where do you actually stand so it is through seeking evaluation and advice from people whom you look up to that you feel you want to be as good as them so you ask them how are you doing in that community or that band itself so and another way is that through teaching you can also find out what you actually don't know you might come out with uh, questions that you yourself didn't think of because you haven't started teaching you do not know what others want to know and through asking people to teach us you actually see new perspectives of how to overcome a problem that you can't solve or a theory that you do not quite understand and so while the journey is a never-ending one find peers whom is perhaps at the same pace as you so that you can keep challenging each other motivating each other to keep this journey a happy and healthy one here we come to the phase three that is the struggle and the hustle of learning music or simply learning singing so if you want to be a singer you gotta learn how to sing properly you gotta put yourself out there and you know let people criticize you or you can also record yourself singing and see what's actually wrong with your singing how can you improve or if you're a very talented person perhaps you want to uh, get more sources of videos from other artists you know dig up more ideas of singing patterns techniques or styles and then you could also gain practical experiences through gigging you know you can always offer people how you can help another band or how you can help another musician to get a gig it's not always about the money when you are first starting out so always put yourself out there getting opportunities that is what matters when you are starting out and finally don't limit yourself always try new ways to challenge yourself vocally or technically in your ability to play the instrument and um, that is just physically what it, when it comes to mentally challenge yourself how much can you grasp from understanding musical theories the chords or structure of a song of a musical arrangement challenge your ears you know listen to songs that are complicated and then ask help or guidance from a senior that is able to explain to you how this piece of music actually works the musical arrangement what do they even mean you know the musical theory behind the song so the more you learn of musical theories the more you understand how people compose and how people write music and that's where you are finally able to make your own music after learning all the tricks and all the techniques from the uh, professionals and the experienced ones and don't forget to also challenge your own weaknesses because the more you fail the more you're gonna learn so Put yourself out there for a big fall you know fall hard and then you will learn how to actually overcome it next time and finally we have reached the final phase which is the fourth phase that seems to be so important that everybody kind of want to start from phase four first forgetting all the phase one two and three altogether so what is this phase for that is sounding so important is connection collaboration and teamwork that is doing the job of promoting your profile your motto and getting yourself known to the music industry so 
you want to build your image. You want to have a value to give to people. You want to build your own brand. You want to show people what your strengths actually are. And you can't do that if you do not go through phase one, two, and three, right? Don't straight away jump into phase four without understanding what actually music means to you. What is your purpose? Where do you stand? And you got to remember to do the hard work. And now at this fourth stage where you are going to collab with people, you know, find people that is willing to help you so that when you make connections with them, their audience will become your audience and vice versa. Now we are in the digital world. Today you collaborate with Artist A. Who knows 10 years down the road and some of your audience are actually coming from Artist A. You know, you put up a video and the video is not going anywhere until end of time. So slowly you will get new audiences from Artist A. As time goes by, it is something like a MLM, you know, the more roots you have, and then the more influence, the more people are gonna be connected to you. So stay connected besides discussing with uh, your peers about music. Actually be a friend, you know, be a friend to people. And then you will see that uh, they will help you and you will help them. So like I said, welcome people to join new ventures, to come up with projects where you share ideas, integrate with each other, bringing out the best in each other. And uh, yeah, that's actually the fun part of it all. Phase 4 is all about the enjoyment of actually doing music, building your own image and collaborating with people. But don't forget the Phase 1, 2 and 3. So what now? You have finished Phase 4 and you find yourself kind of a, uh, not knowing where to go, like lost as to what is next? Like Adele, after she has got her Grammys and Ed Sheeran having toured all over the world, having topped the charts. So what's next for them, you know? In conclusion, to pursue music as part of our life is forever. It is because you enjoy music so much that you're willing to give up everything else just to pursue and perfect this art, this potential talent of yours that you could make living in the future. So to pursue music career is something like a, a long-term investment that it doesn't come back as quickly as other jobs. So you gotta be patient with it if you have decided to do music as your career. So always remember that finishing phase four, you eventually circling and go back to phase one. So you ask yourself all over again as you grow older and then phase two, you then re-evaluate now after so many years, where do you stand? You know, perhaps you have left your peers way behind. You have improved so much that you need to go to the next level of people to join or you are not moving. You're still the same. You're always at that level and people have already went on to win the Grammys. Who knows, right? <laughs> so most importantly is not to forget phase three. That is to learn, keep practicing because there will always be new things to learn. Maybe you have won the Grammys in uh, pop music. Why not now go into uh, country music or classical? You know, there's always something new for you to learn. So don't just stay in your comfort zone because you're best at this. You know, you can always challenge yourself. If you know the main purpose of you making music is because you enjoy so much of the vibration that you get when you are singing, you can always change the genre and still enjoy singing, right? It's a new challenge for phase three. And then finally, don't forget to always stay connected, collaborate with people and continue to enjoy making music. That's what I can say if you are going to pursue music as your career. So thank you very much. If you enjoy this video, if you gain anything from this, give me a thumbs up or like this video. My name is Damien and I uh, hope to be bringing you more sharing in the future and perhaps I'll see you again next time. Thank you. Well, I think... Blah, blah, blah.